Elon Musk never shies away from investing in cutting-edge tech, if it's truly useful. And nothing has been more game-changing for Tesla than the Giga Press. The 6,000 and 9,000 ton models already revolutionized production, but the new 50,000 ton Giga Press is next level, capable of building 12 cars in just 60 seconds. Musk believes new models will unleash a production line so fast, no one can get close. So, how does the Giga Press churn out 12 cars a minute? Could this be the future of car production? Let's find out. You might not know this, but the story of Elon Musk and the Tesla Giga Press is truly thrilling. Bringing this machine to Tesla was no small feat. The idea came from a spark of inspiration. Musk once held a die-cast toy car on his desk and asked, why can't we do the same with real cars? He realized casting massive parts like the entire Model Y underbody could slash weight, costs, and assembly time. At the time, Tesla faced immense pressure to ramp up Model Y production and needed smarter ways to cut costs. The Giga Press promised to reduce vehicle frame costs by 20 to 40 percent. But no one had ever built a machine like this before, and die casting manufacturers doubted its feasibility. Traditionally, car frames relied on steel stamping and robot welding, involving hundreds of parts and complex processes. Undeterred, Musk reached out to six major die casting manufacturers to bring this revolutionary idea to life. Surprisingly, five of the manufacturers immediately declined, calling the idea too crazy and unfeasible. Hope seemed lost. But in the final contact, Idra, an Italian die-casting company, stepped up. Even they weren't fully sure and only said maybe. But for Musk, that maybe was huge. To bring the Giga Press to life, Tesla worked closely with Idra for over a year. The process was grueling. Tesla constantly requested design tweaks, and Idra's engineers worked tirelessly to adjust the machine to meet each new requirement. In the end, the Giga Press was a success. Before we go ahead, hit like and subscribe for more amazing tech updates. Tesla began with the 6,000 ton Giga Press for the Model Y rear chassis, followed by the 9,000 ton press for the Cybertruck. Now, Musk is moving forward with the 50,000-ton GigaPress for the CyberCab and the affordable Model 2. Compared to the earlier presses, this machine is a beast, casting multiple frames at once and cutting casting time from 70 seconds to just 5. It sounds unbelievable, but it's real. Imagine a car coming off the line in under 5 seconds. And if that's not enough, Musk hints bigger casting machines could be next. 50,000 tons just to put that into perspective. So just how massive is the 50,000 ton Giga Press? How long does it take to assemble? How does it differ from the 6,000 or 9,000 ton models? And how can it produce a cyber cab every five seconds, 12 cars per minute? These were exactly the questions racing through our minds when Elon Musk revealed this beast. Many still think 50,000 tons refers to weight but it actually measures the pressure the machine can generate. Even so, its size is staggering, with a weight likely exceeding 3,000 tons or 6.6 .6 million pounds. For perspective, the 6,000-ton press weighs about 430 tons, the 9,000-ton 688 tons, which means the 50,000-ton could hit 8.16 million pounds. A true monster. Pressure-wise, it's 8.3 times stronger than the 6,000-ton model and 5.5 times the 9,000-ton. Installation alone could take months. In dimensions, it stretches 131 feet long, 42 feet wide, and 39 feet tall, like a four-story building lying on its side. Tesla had to construct a special facility with a reinforced concrete foundation several meters deep just to support it. To give more context, the 6,000-ton press is only 64 feet long, 19.7 feet wide, and 17.4 feet tall. The 50,000-ton Giga Press doesn't just dwarf its predecessors. It's a complete leap forward in scale and capability, ready to redefine car production forever. But how does the 50,000-ton Giga Press actually work? It uses ultra-high pressure to force molten aluminum into every nook and cranny of the mold, leaving no defects. 
Once cast, the part cools evenly, hardening into its final shape. Precision is critical. Too fast and air bubbles form. Too slow and the aluminum solidifies before filling the mold. A uniform cooling system ensures strength and accuracy. After cooling, a robot extracts the part, trims excess material and sends it through a rigorous quality inspection. The Giga Press is revolutionary. By casting a single large component instead of welding dozens of smaller parts, it reduces vehicle weight, increases rigidity, boosts performance, and saves time and labor. Today, multiple automakers have adopted Geiger casting technology, including General Motors, Hyundai, Volvo, Zier, and Xpang, who invested in a 16,000-ton press. The 50,000-ton Giga Press operates on the same principle as the 6,000 and 9,000 ton models. The process begins with material preparation. Tesla melts new aluminum ingots along with leftover scrap in a furnace at 850 degrees Celsius. Impurities are removed before transferring the molten metal through heated pipelines into a second sealed furnace, keeping it between 750 degrees Celsius and 850 degrees Celsius. This two furnace system one powered by natural gas for melting, the other electrically heated for holding, ensures the aluminum alloy remains at the perfect temperature for flawless casting. As mentioned earlier, the holding furnace is filled with nitrogen gas to prevent oxide formation in the molten aluminum and maintain a stable temperature. Operators also use argon gas, a rotary degasser, and a silicon carbide filter to remove impurities and particles larger than 25 microns. That completes the material preparation stage. Next comes mold preparation. Before each cycle, a robot sprays about 35 milliliters of soybean oil evenly across the mold, like greasing a baking pan to make release easier. Then the system creates a vacuum to remove air and molten aluminum is transferred from the holding furnace into the Giga Press's shot chamber. A high-speed piston injects the metal into the mold cavity and it's lubricated with roughly 8 milliliters of oil before each shot. Scaling this process requires precise timing as the metal must cool just right while automation removes excess material for usability. Once injected, the aluminum solidifies inside the mold and is ejected at around 400 degrees Celsius. The raw casting is then plunged into a cooling bath, dropping to about 50 degrees Celsius rapidly to prevent defects and improve material properties. Finally, the mold cools to roughly 185 degrees Celsius and is cleaned by a robot, ready for the next cycle, which begins within one to two minutes. Excess metal is trimmed and recycled, and every finished part is x-rayed to guarantee quality and structural integrity. One of the toughest challenges in casting is keeping the mold from bursting under the intense pressure of molten aluminum. That's why the Giga Press applies an enormous clamping force to hold the mold tightly shut. And with the 50,000 ton press, this force is staggering. The liquid metal must be injected and cooled incredibly fast. According to Elon Musk, making this possible required an ultra-fast cooling system, a smart mold release mechanism, and an AI-powered automated quality inspection process, a combination no other automaker has attempted at this scale. This marks a shift toward a production model more like electronics manufacturing, fast, streamlined, and space-optimized. The new one-piece casting process simplifies car production. Tesla's productivity has doubled while costs dropped. A line that once needed 1,000 robots now runs with just 300. The 50,000-ton Giga Press promises to revolutionize Tesla's vehicles, making manufacturing faster and far less complicated. Initially, many in the automotive world ridiculed the idea. They argued aluminum molds wear faster than steel dyes, raising long-term costs. Yet, Tesla proved them wrong. It's no coincidence that Ford, Hyundai, Toyota, GM, and Volkswagen have invested in GigaPress technology, recognizing Tesla's advantage. Producing 12 cars per minute, 720 per hour, reshapes car manufacturing. Musk confirms the Model 2 will benefit most, with production volumes surpassing the combined total of Model Y and Model 3, setting a new benchmark in automotive efficiency.
In recent updates, Wemo had to suspend its autonomous taxi services in parts of Los Angeles and San Francisco amid violent protests against the Trump administration's immigrant crackdowns. The most alarming incident saw several Wemo robo-taxis vandalized, with at least five damaged and one completely burned. When these cars caught fire, toxic smoke from their lithium-ion batteries posed health risks, prompting police to warn people to avoid downtown areas. Each robo-taxi is valued between $150,000 and $200,000, making the cost of these attacks significant. Meanwhile, Tesla's own robo-taxi service is nearing deployment. A recent video on X offered the first glimpse of Tesla's autonomous vehicle on Austin streets, with a major rollout event scheduled for the 12th. The clip clearly shows the taxi operating entirely without a driver. Tesla is achieving remarkable reliability and next month, more customers will be able to test the service beyond the limited trials currently available. Shifting to vehicle sales, the Tesla Model Y cemented its spot as China's best-selling SUV for May, with 24,770 units registered, surpassing competitors like the BYD Song Plus, 24,240, and Giles Jingu L, 21,014. Despite a reported 71% drop in Q1 profit that fueled doubts about sales, Tesla actually sold 126,643 Model Y units in China during the first five months of 2025, outpacing the BYD Song Plus, 110,551, and Song Pro, 80,245. Even as the Model Y dominates, Tesla faces challenges. Total May sales in China fell 30% year-over-year to 38,588 vehicles and deliveries from January to May dropped 7.8% compared to last year, largely due to the transition to the new Model Y in the first quarter. Still, with strong quarters 3 and 4 ahead, Tesla's presence in China remains robust and impressive. What Tesla is doing with the Cybercab isn't just building a car without a steering wheel or pedals, it's reinventing how cars are made. The entire production process is reimagined. Traditional assembly lines are replaced by a robotic network and hand-assembled parts are swapped for stacking pre-made modules like oversized Lego bricks. Elon Musk likened it to making toys, only scaled up to produce as many vehicles as possible. Once the GigaPress casts five Cybercab chassis, they're immediately fed into the Unbox process line a system so fast humans can't safely approach. Casting five bodies simultaneously makes the molds huge and the process far more complex. The metal travels longer distances in the mold, increasing the risk of defects. Inject too fast and air bubbles weaken the structure, too slow, and the aluminum may solidify before filling the mold. All of this happens inside the 50,000-ton GigaPress, which requires careful transport, installation, and fine-tuning before going live. Tesla's leap with this efficient, one-piece production model has other automakers scrambling. Companies like Toyota, GM, G, Volvo, and Hyundai are starting to explore GigaPress technology, but most still rely on 6,000-ton machines. With Tesla already running a 50,000-ton press, the competition has a long way to catch up. That's it. Hit the like and subscribe button for more exciting Tesla updates. Thanks for watching.